What's a rumble device designed to do? Give directions. Prevent cattle escaping. Alert you to low tire pressure. Alert you to a hazard. What should you do if a doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving? Only drive if someone is with you. Avoid driving on motorways. Get someone else to drive. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. What may help to deter a thief from stealing your car? Always keeping the headlights on. Fitting reflective glass windows. Always keeping the interior light on. Etching the registration number on the windows. You're driving in freezing conditions. What should you do as you approach a sharp bend? Coast into the bend. Apply your parking brake. Firmly use your foot brake. Slow down gently. You're following a long vehicle as it approaches a crossroads. What should you do if it signals left but moves out to the right? Get closer in order to pass it quickly. Stay well back and give it room. Assume the signal is wrong and that it's turning right. Overtake it as it starts to slow down. You're at the front of a queue of traffic waiting to turn right into a side road. Why is it important to check your right mirror just before turning? To look for pedestrians about to cross. To check for overtaking vehicles. To make sure the side road is clear. To check for emerging traffic. Which vehicle might have to take a different course from normal at a roundabout? Sports car. Van. Estate car. Long vehicle. Why is it a good idea to plan your journey to avoid busy times? You'll have an easier journey. You'll have a more stressful journey. Your journey time will be longer. It will cause more traffic congestion. You service your own vehicle. How should you dispose of the old engine oil? Take it to a local authority site. Pour it down a drain. Tip it into a hole in the ground. Put it in your dustbin. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? Fire engine. Road gritter. Ambulance. Doctor's car. If you're involved in a collision, what will reduce the risk of neck injury? An air sprung seat. Anti lock brakes. A collapsible steering wheel. A properly adjusted head restraint. What safety device must be fitted to a trailer braking system? Stabilizer. Jockey wheel. Corner steadies. Breakaway cable. Following a collision, a person has been injured. What would be a warning sign for shock? Flushed complexion. Warm dry skin. Slow pulse. Rapid shallow breathing. You're driving on a wet road. What should you do if you have to stop your vehicle in an emergency? Apply the parking brake and foot brake together. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. Select reverse gear. Give an arm signal. What lights should you use when you're driving on a wet motorway and vehicles are throwing up surface spray? Hazard warning lights. Dipped headlights. 
Rear fog lights. Side lights. How can drinking alcohol affect your ability to drive or ride? Your ability to judge speed will be reduced. Your confidence will be reduced. Your reactions will be faster. Your awareness of danger will be improved. Why should you test your brakes after this hazard? You'll be on a slippery road. Your brakes will be wet. You'll be going down a long hill. You'll have just crossed a long bridge. You see these double white lines along the center of the road. When may you park on the left? If the line nearest to you is broken. When there are no yellow lines. To pick up or set down passengers. During daylight hours only. When should you use the right hand lane of a three lane dual carriage way? When you're overtaking only. When you're overtaking or turning right. When you're using cruise control. When you're turning right only. What should you do if your vehicle breaks down in a tunnel? Stay in your vehicle and wait for the police. Stand in the lane behind your vehicle to warn others. Stand in front of your vehicle to warn oncoming drivers. Switch on hazard warning lights, then go and call for help. Why does this junction have a stop sign and a stop line on the road? Speed on the major road is de-restricted. It's a busy junction. Visibility along the major road is restricted. The junction is on a downhill gradient. What should you do if you're driving a slow moving vehicle on a narrow winding road? Keep well out of stop vehicles overtaking dangerously. Wave the vehicles behind to come past you if you think they can overtake quickly. Pull in when you can, to let the vehicles behind overtake. Give a left signal when it's safe for vehicles to overtake you. When would you use an emergency refuge area on a smart motorway? In cases of emergency or breakdown. If you think you'll be involved in a road rage incident. To stop and check where you are. To make a private phone call. What does third party insurance cover? Damage to your vehicle. Damage to other vehicles. Injury to yourself. All damage and injury. How will a roof rack affect your car? There will be less wind noise. The engine will use more oil. The car will accelerate faster.
fuel consumption will increase. What should you do if your vehicle pulls to one side when you use the brakes? Increase the pressure in your tires. Have the brakes checked as soon as possible. Change gear and pump the brake pedal. Use your parking brake at the same time. When should tire pressures be checked? After any lengthy journey. After traveling at high speed. When tires are hot. When tires are cold. What does this sign mean? Low bridge ahead. Tunnel ahead. Ancient monument ahead. Traffic danger spot ahead. What does this sign mean? You have priority. No motor vehicles. Two-way traffic. No overtaking. What should you remove from your car before leaving it unattended? The car dealer's details. The owner's manual. The service record. The vehicle registration document. What should you do when leaving your vehicle parked and unattended? Park near a busy junction. Park in a housing estate. Lock it and remove the key. Leave the left indicator on. How would underinflated tires affect your vehicle? The vehicle's stopping distance would increase. The flash rate of the vehicle's indicators would increase. The vehicle's gear change mechanism would become stiff. The vehicle's headlights would aim high. What should you do if a driver pulls out of a side road in front of you, causing you to brake hard? Ignore the error and stay calm. Flash your lights to show your annoyance. Sound your horn to show your annoyance. Overtake as soon as possible. What should you do to reduce the risk of your vehicle catching fire? Keep water levels above maximum. Check out any strong smell of fuel. Avoid driving with a full tank of fuel. Use fuel additives. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction. To pass a car signaling to turn left ahead. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 miles per hour or less. To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer. You're driving in town. Why should you be careful if there's a bus at a bus stop on the other side of the road? The bus might have broken down. Pedestrians might come from behind the bus. The bus might move off suddenly. The bus might remain stationary. Where is your vehicle most likely to be affected by side winds? On a narrow country lane. On an open stretch of road. On a busy stretch of road. On a long, straight road. What do the long white lines along the center of the road mean? Bus lane. Hazard warning. Give way. Lane marking. The fluid level in your battery is low. What fluid should you use to top it up? Battery acid. Distilled water. Engine oil. Engine coolant. What should you do if you can't see clearly behind when you're reversing? Open the window to look behind. Open the door to look behind. Look in the near side mirror. Ask someone to guide you. What does this sign indicate? A diversion route. A picnic area. A pedestrian zone. A cycle route. 
an injured person has been placed in the recovery position. They're unconscious but breathing normally. What else should be done? Press firmly between their shoulders. Place their arms by their side. Give them a hot sweet drink. Check their airway remains open. How can drinking alcohol affect your ability to drive or ride? Your ability to judge speed will be reduced. Your confidence will be reduced. Your reactions will be faster. Your awareness of danger will be improved. What should you do to reduce the risk of your vehicle catching fire? Keep water levels above maximum. Check out any strong smell of fuel. Avoid driving with a full tank of fuel. Use fuel additives. What's the safest thing to do if you have to leave valuables in your car? Put them in a carrier bag. Park near a school entrance. Lock them out of sight. Park near a bus stop. When is fuel consumption at its highest? When you're braking. When you're coasting. When you're accelerating. When you're turning sharply. At night, what does it mean if you see a pedestrian wearing reflective clothing and carrying a bright red light? You're approaching road works. You're approaching an organized walk. You're approaching a slow moving vehicle. You're approaching a traffic danger spot. What should you do if you can't see clearly behind when you're reversing? Open the window to look behind. Open the door to look behind. Look in the near side mirror. Ask someone to guide you. Where would you find these flashing red light signals? Pelican crossings. Motorway exits. Zebra crossings. Level crossings. What does this sign mean? Contraflow cycle lane. With flow cycle lane. Cycles and buses only. No cycles or buses. What's the main hazard the driver of the red car, arrowed, should be aware of? Glare from the Sunday may affect the driver's vision. The black car may stop suddenly. The bus may move out into the road. Oncoming vehicles will assume the driver is turning right. What should you do when you leave your car unattended for a few minutes? Leave the engine running. Switch the engine off but leave the key in. Lock it and remove the key. Park near a traffic warden. What can people who live or work in towns and cities do to help reduce urban pollution levels? Drive more quickly. Over of and a low gear. Walk or cycle. Drive short journeys. You're traveling in very heavy rain. How is this likely to affect your overall stopping distance? It will be doubled. It will be halved. It will be ten times greater. It will be no different. What color are the reflective studs between a motorway and a slip road? Amber. White. Green. Red.